What you guys got another video here for you. This is a bit of a fun video. It's installing Windows 95 on VirtualBox. I'm not sure who requested this yesterday, so we'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So first off, you want to go up to the new tab in VirtualBox and type Windows 95 in the name there. And now you can give it a bit of memory and we're going to give it 128 megabytes. Go over to the file size, two gigabytes is fine. Leave it dynamic and also VDI and click OK. Now we can go into the settings pane here. And uh, what we can do here is go into uh, the system and uh, take a look at system here. You can see there we've got some other bits and pieces in here which you can make changes to like processor, acceleration. Just take out the tick for enable VT and also you can see here video memory we've got at 32 megabytes there so what i'm going to do is first install our dos so what we need to do is install ms dos 7.1 so i've got the iso here click open and we've attached that to our virtual cd so i'm going to click start now and this will go through the process of starting to install dos on here so you can see here virtual box is open I'll zoom in so you can see it and you can see now what I need to do is push one or enter on the keyboard and it will then go through the process here so click next here this will get uh, MS-DOS 7 set up go next again now I agree to the terms and conditions so go next now go continue and this will set up the partitions we want to create FAT32 so I'm going to create that for us and reboot the system now go next again at this stage then we can go uh, next again agree to the terms and conditions again and then go continue and now we can uh, rewrite the master boot record on the hard drive ensure the MBI is correct so we're going to click yes here and now you can put in your full path here you can leave it as default which I'm going to do here and click next the directory doesn't exist so we need to create that and uh, full installation and remove the install add-ons here and click next so then go ahead and push enter and it says you have chosen to uh, install the full installation it gives you the rundown of what's going to happen here so click OK and this will go ahead and start to set up MS-DOS 7. So this is basically just asking do we want the DOS startup logo so just say yes here and uh, we can now say yes again. Just change this here and uh, some older DOS programs which don't support the long file names so just gonna say yes and we can enable both UMB and also EMS so click that and also we're going to load both of these up as well now I'm not going to spend too much time going through all what this is because obviously it is Windows uh, 95 and no one's going to be sort of rushing to install it so so here we can uh, make changes here I'm just going to leave this as default and click uh, continue and also here I'm just going to leave this as US International and come down to continue as congratulations you have completed the MS-DOS 7.10 setup so we want to reboot and remove the actual uh, ISO at this stage so click yes to reboot okay at this stage what we're going to do is reboot the system and remove the ISO from the uh, virtual CD-ROM it will then boot up into DOS as you can see here so we're now welcome to MS-DOS 7 and now we can uh, just check to see what is there so what I want to do before I do that is select uh, the Windows 95 ISO here so we now got the Windows 95 ISO in I'm going to change to the D uh, drive here and type DIR and you can now see all the files of that ISO here so now we're going to type in here setup and this will then continue uh, by pressing enter and uh, we can now start to install 
you'll see the Microsoft uh, scan disk pop up and now we got the Windows 95 setup. So we can push continue here and this will continue to install Windows 95 on our virtual box or virtual machine. Say yes here. And uh, once we get to this stage, we can now collect some information about the computer. So we're just gonna say, okay, click next. And it's asking us to choose a directory. So we're gonna choose uh, this C Windows directory there. And you can do custom here if you want. And also just put in the license key here. And now I'm gonna give it a name for the user account. Click continue. And of course we want to analyze the computer for network adapters and also sound and all that sort of good stuff. So just put the ticks in there and let it analyze the computer. That will take a bit of time. I've speeded this process up. And of course, uh, once that's completed, we can now install the most common components, which is recommended. And also it's asking us, do we want uh, a startup uh, disk? I don't need that on uh, a virtual machine. So I'm just gonna say no. I don't want uh, a startup disk and then click on uh, continue or next. So just put the radio button in no and uh, click next. And it will then start to copy the Windows 95 files to uh, the computer. You can see here the little drums going up and down. And I'll speed this process up here. You can pause the screen and read some of those uh, prompt boxes up there that is showing you there if you want to read some of those for historical reasons. but. You may get the uh, version conflict popping up here. Just click yes and click yes here. That will keep the file and it's going to finish off the setup here and we can now click OK. And uh, once we've done that, we're pretty much good to go. It's going to push the enter key to get things ready and it will then start to uh, load up Windows. It's going to set up. Uh, our hardware for us at this stage. I plug in and play and you must provide the computer and work group names and that's okay. I could just leave this as is default and work group. I'm just put home in here just just to put something in. It needs something in there and then click closed. And it will start to copy the rest of the files across. And you can see here disk 9, disk 10, it's 14 disk 18 It's copying all the files across as if it were floppy disks, basically. And you see 19 floppies there it'll have been. So just copying across all that information there. And uh, now it's going to get ready to set up the system. And this bit may hang for a bit. Just be patient because it is uh, Windows 95. And uh, you can see here, it's now starting to get all our system set up, which is our control panel, programs and start menu, Windows help, MS-DOS program settings, time zone, and it will also set up your printer. I'm just gonna leave this as all default here. I'm not gonna bother changing any of this stuff. So just click close. And again, next, and you can choose a printer here. And there's a bunch of them inside here. That was a big thing back then. So I'm just gonna click, uh, Let's see here, cancel that, click OK. And now we can uh, remove uh, the Windows ISO. So it's just gonna remove this, remove attachment, there we go, click OK. And now we can boot Windows 95 up for the first time. And you will then see Windows 95 loading up. And there we go, starting to boot up. And uh, we should see Windows 95. And uh, Windows 95, there's older ones as well. I can show you some of those if you're interested. Let me know in the comments section below what else you want to see. If you want to see any other operating systems, let me know. I can install those for you. Solaris, anything like that, let me know. And I can install those. But so I just need to put in here uh, your username here. You can put a password in if you wish. I'm going to leave this blank. And uh, there is a sound on here. I've mu muted the sound and uh, we're just going to let this finish off and log in. And we should then be uh, roughly at the desktop soon. It's just finalizing a few settings for the computer. And uh, 
we should be good to go. And obviously you would have heard the startup sound there, which I've muted, uh, but you can see here that is your desktop. Now, obviously the bits at the side I've just added in there is just to make it a full screen. But as you can see, that is the main uh, desktop. You've got all your my computer, network neighborhood, inbox, recycle bin, internet. So this would have been your my computer, your C drive here, and also your control panel. You've got all your usual suspects inside here, regional settings, sound, system, network, passwords, power. Very, very sparse, not a lot in here, because uh, remember, this is quite an old um, operating system, so there's not a lot inside here. Joystick, uh, keyboard, and stuff like that. Add new hardware, add and remove programs. You can see the very basic that, uh, gray background, no fancy GUI interface here, and you've got all your usual areas here. We'll just take a quick look at some of those. And uh, your modem and your display, and you've got some of your displays here. You can see very basic uh, sort of patterns they used to use back then. Um, so no fancy uh, patterns. Of course, because of the uh, processor and memory and everything else, there wouldn't have been any sort of fancy wallpapers or uh, screen savers or anything like that back then. It was very, very basic stuff, as you can see here. But um, again, uh, that's basically how it used to be back in the day before we've got to where we are today, where we're spoiled for memory and processing power and stuff like that uh, you got your flower box and a few other bits pipes and stuff like that very basic stuff inside here and it just goes to show you how far advanced uh, computers have come now and stuff like that gaming computers and stuff how things have changed so your online services you've got your old usual suspects in here AOL and also there's a few others in there AT and T CompuServe and then you've got a few other bits and pieces in here like your inbox and you can set this up Microsoft Network Microsoft Fax and so on and then the internet you also can set this up and you can see very very plain and simple back then compared to what you've got in today and of course things have changed a hell of a lot I mean graphics cards sound cards everything was on a massive scale they were huge uh, back then uh, the actual sound cards were massive you know 12 inches in, in size some of them they were huge but you can see here so anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video uh these would have given all your sounds here for your windows some of the old classic sounds but i think we're going to wrap this one up i think that's going to be about it for this video Probably some of you guys are not uh, old enough to remember uh, Windows 95, but I hope this was a, a trip down memory lane for some of you guys out there. Uh, okay. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.